Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to auto post GL journals. So let's get into the system. So in order to do that, the first step would be, or the rather the prerequisites would be to set up auto post criteria set. So this is the spreadsheet which we were discussing, which contains the list of all the steps which we are executing in a sequence. So we'll be talking about this step now how to perform automatic posting using auto post criteria set. And this is the task through which we can create the auto post criteria set. So let us get into system. Setup and maintenance. You can go for global search. Manage auto post criteria set. So this being a testing environment, there are a lot of auto post criteria sets which already created. Let us create a new one. So let me giving a, a meaningful name. So probably I just want to give name as <coughs> Reliance USD Ledger Auto Post Auto Post criteria set for Reliance USD Ledger. I just want to check this checkbox enabled. And check this checkbox use batch created as a approval submitter. If you do not check this checkbox, if there are any journals which are in a kind of say complete status but not submitted for approval, then uh, whenever I'm running the auto post criteria, uh, the automatic posting program. So the journal approval will follow my hierarchy. So I'll be considered as the uh, journal entry which is submitted for an approval and then it goes through the hierarchy uh, following my hierarchy if we are generally going for a supervisor hierarchy then yes it might go to my manager for an approval <clears throat> if you check this checkbox then it uh, uh, the general approval will honor the approval hierarchy of the person who created the journal <clears throat> so here to see and ledger can enter any number of <coughs> ledger or ledger sets. So in this case, I will use Reliance USD ledger, general sources, I just say all sources. If you want, you can enter a specific uh, general source and specific general category, I'm just using all. And period also, in general, it will be generally all, or if you want to, schedule this particular program for a specific period, you can do that. Just say all balance type, whether you want to uh, auto post actual as well as incumbents or uh, just the actual, I'll go for actual. You can leave this blank. So this is basically number of days before submission dates and number of uh, days after submission date. <laughs> If you enter any number of days, then system will consider only those journals. Say, let's assume today is uh, April uh, 27th. Let's assume if I put, say, uh, maybe example, say, maybe 40 days, 40 before and 40 after. So that means this, uh, whenever you're running your auto post uh, program using this auto post criteria set, it will consider only those journals which has a GL date which falls between plus or minus 27th of April. So plus 40 days, minus 40 days. So 40 days before and 40 days after. <clears throat> I did not uh, see any uh, specific uh, client who used this, but there could be some different business ca use cases to use that, but uh, I have not seen that. Okay. So save and close. <clears throat> so I have uh, created a auto post criteria set. So let me quickly create a, a journal and see if my journal would be picked up by auto post criteria set. I'll just say <clears throat> it's red journal April 
एक्सटर्नल जर्नल एडजस्टमेंट कैटेगरी सो डज मेक एनी डिफरेंस व्हाट अकाउंटिंग डेट व्हाट कैटेगरी व्हाट करेंसी बिकॉज वी डिड नॉट स्पेसिफाई ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन आवर ऑटो पोस्ट क्राइटेरिया सर रादर वी हैव mentioned that uh, consider all the general sources all general categories in all periods <clears throat> so let me create a simple general entry maybe debiting a rent account and crediting say cash account <clears throat> see if there is any rent account <clears throat> you have rent for buildings <clears throat> okay so this is a rent let me just make say $20000 and this is a credit Okay, 20,000. So similarly, in a live environment, there will be different journals which are created by different users, <coughs> but they will not be uh, provided a uh, uh, functionality or an option to post the journals. So basically, posting would be controlled by uh, critical uh, business users. So they can create the journal entry and leave it there, and, or submit for approval, get it approved. So now in this case, you can see. the completion status is incomplete if the general is in incomplete status this will not be picked up by your automatic uh, posting program let me complete this so only those generals which are in complete status and approve if if approval is required it should be in approved status or it should be in not approved status uh, this being a testing environment i have disabled uh, approval in this uh, environment so approval is not required for my general and it is already in complete status now it is in batch is in post status now one option is i can directly click on post but i just want to show how automatic posting works in this video so let me not manually post this so now let's see how we can sorry we should have <coughs> yeah how we can automatically post this click on run auto post <coughs> so select the your auto post criteria set the auto post criteria sets you have already mentioned the ledger name the general sources general categories and accounting period so you need not mention anything just directly click on submit button if you want to just do a one ad hoc uh, auto post but if you want to schedule this particular uh, program uh, to run after every couple of hours then what you need to do is click on advanced <coughs> schedule using a schedule <coughs> probably if i want to run it after every <coughs> daily and uh, days between runs daily i just want no instead of daily i will just say i want this particular program to run after every 5 hours <clears throat> start from now and uh, put some future end date maybe uh, future uh, er unfortunately end date being mandatory i need to put something so i'm just putting some end date future end date okay so this is how you submit it if you want to schedule this particular program to run after every couple of hours most of the clients what we have seen they generally schedule this particular program to run after every 4 to 5 hours so in this case let me not schedule this this being a testing environment let me directly submit this so a process id ending with 924 got submitted let's go and check the process id and see the log and output file to check if r journal was posted <clears throat> what happened Oops, sorry skip it first yeah 
so auto post program completed successfully this has triggered posting journals for single ledger program so <clears throat> let me check the log and output file okay you can see this is the general which we have unfortunately the output is not uh, user friendly but anyways this is the name of the batch which we have created and it is posted successfully so i can go to the journal and then <coughs> search for the journal and check if this particular batch is really posted <coughs> manage journals Maybe that's a general name. We just starts with get rid of this. Yeah, so this is our journal. It is posted. <coughs> so it is posted. This is the journal which we have created and it is in posted state. So this is how you schedule this particular program so that all unposted journal entries uh, are posted. Generally, all the journals which are being sent from the sub which is your <coughs> receivables or payables or fixed assets, uh, you run your create accounting program, then create accounting program by default will have an option to transfer to GL as well as post in general. So generally, we generally schedule this auto post program for the general source of manual or spreadsheet or any other inbounds into direct GL from any other legacy system. Of course, there is no harm even if you include all the sources, but but in a real world, generally, uh, you will not be able to see any receivables or payables entries in unposted stages because create accounting program should automatically take care of <coughs> sending them to GL as well as posting them. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For interesting videos on Oracle Fusion Financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.